Well, let's move on to a camera that we've been really wanting to bring to you, the Nikon Z9. Extremely powerful hybrid camera, one of the most powerful cameras of the year, I think, already. It's designed to be used in both portrait and landscape orientation. A little confusing, you know, because it has so many features. It has way too many buttons, comes with the 3.2-inch 4-axis tilting touchscreen, weighs about 1.34 kgs, can click up to 120 frames per second. So, you know, it's ideal for anything that you really want to do, but really good for wildlife and sports photography because of that frame rate and then it can shoot 8K video at 30 frames per second. In-body image stabilization works absolutely great. Priced at about 4 lakh 75,000 rupees. While for the past year, Canon and Sony ever more so seemed to be the lead innovators for mirrorless cameras, Nikon was playing catch up. But with the recent launch of the all-powerful Nikon Z9, there might be a tectonic shift in this lead of innovation. As the Z9 surely looks to have taken a huge jump in almost every aspect of a mirrorless camera, how? You'll know in the next few minutes. Let's start with the design. The Nikon Z9 is a hybrid camera that is more focused on clicking pictures while also being more than capable of recording videos. Its design is very similar to the Canon R3. It is designed in such a way that it can be used in both landscape and portrait orientation as it comes with comfortable grips for both. And it has buttons everywhere. Enough that one will be prone to accidentally pressing them while they are using it. It has a joystick to zip through the UI along with a D-pad. But unlike other cameras, the D-pad cannot be used as a wheel to change any of the settings on the screen. The screen itself is a 3.2-inch 4-axis tilting touch screen. It's not fully articulating. On the right side is a flap that covers the dual CF Express card slots which can take some effort to open from behind the camera. And on the left side are flaps for all ports, which also include a full-size HDMI port. The entire body is built like an absolute tank and it is also heavy at 1.34 kilograms. Internally, the camera operates with an electronic shutter while doing away with a mechanical one. It switches on much faster than other cameras. The sensor itself is a 45.7 megapixel CMOS sensor. It can click 20 frames per second in RAW, 30 frames per second on JPEG and 120 frames per second in 11 megapixel JPEG formats, which is absolutely incredible. The new image processor inside is excellent and right up at par with processors behind Sony and Canon cameras. And such a high FPS count makes it ideal for wildlife and sports photography. The shots are pretty incredible. The autofocus works brilliantly for every shot. The details and colors remain well maintained with higher ISO for some great low light shots. In terms of video, it is just as incredible. In stock settings, the Z9 can shoot 8K at 30 FPS. 4K at 120fps and 1080p at 120 fps videos. It has the potential to be the most powerful video camera of the year. As for stabilization, the in-body image stabilization works really well and at times removes the need for a tripod. The heavy weight comes in handy for the stabilization as well. Even though the 30 minute record limit has been done away with, there is a 2 hour 5 minutes record limit regardless of the format of the video or the heat generated. Battery life on the camera is also great, as the camera can record 3 hours of 8K footage before the battery needs to be charged again. The Nikon Z9 is an amazing hybrid camera. The leap that Nikon has taken in terms of both photo and video capabilities with the Z9 is incredible. They have not only managed to match up to Sony and Canon, but in some aspects, even surpass them. And at the price of Rs 4,75,995, we will recommend it to anyone looking for an extremely powerful hybrid camera.